What's happening, YouTube? Welcome to Unboxing Pive. We're going to do an Igloo mukbang. It's a melting brewing downtown Tulsa, where we at right now. First thing we ordered is a blueberry jazz. It actually look pretty good. I know. Look pretty Looking good. Looking like some juice. Some juice juice. You know I like them blueberries. It's kind of strong. What is it? You ain't liking it? I think we're too up class. On this one, huh? Maybe they ain't stirred properly. Oh, shoot. No hate. Oh, it's stirred, man. It said natural sugars. We ain't used to natural sugar. I'm used to that cane sugar. Don't let it lie to you. Alright. What's the most attractive thing your significant other could do for you? The most attractive thing? Oh. Fix my bath water and bathe me. Okay, I respect that. Yeah. I think my thing would be similar to that is to roll my feet, roll my back after a hard day of working. And I'm bad for him. Yeah, and I'm good. Yeah. You know, give me a little dessert. You know, I'll be like an apple pie. So definitely I would say the same thing. I feel like that's the best thing they could do for me. You know, come home, everything already prepped, dinner ready, everything. Ooh, yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm going to say that, definitely. Mm -hmm. And he can cook. <laughs> <laughs> what was your personality like as a kid? Like during high school? During high school? No, my personality as a kid was tomboyish because I had none of my brothers. Okay. So I had to be a tomboy. In high school? I think I was kind of like borderline Christian, but I didn't want to be a Christian. So I was sneaking my clothes to school. <laughs> yeah, my parents were Christian. Okay, y'all? Sorry. I must say, for me growing up as a kid, like, I'm going to say early on. They didn't like you. No, nobody likes me. I <laughs> think I was like I was like a true life gamer. I sort of go before yeah. like sixth grade. I would stay in the house <laughs> all, all the day. I mean, till two, three in the morning. I ain't doing nothing else because I ain't got no friends. Let's be honest, I ain't got no friends. <laughs> I so, was your friend. Right, my mama was my only friend, and that's that's all I would do. I got every new game and played the story mode and beat. That's all I did. Now I'm gonna say high school probably what well, probably ninth grade. I became the cool kid. Yeah. My clothes was nice. And shout out to Elise. She used to make sure my clothes was ironed and everything. And let's make the story. What, what was the story? What story? The reason why they didn't like you in school. Oh, the it's reason, all my fault, y'all. The reason they didn't like me in school because I, I wore a new pair of shoes every day. And I wore polos, um, polo t-shirts, polo uh, button-ups, so to speak. And pants. But, they do have polo pants. But in high school, I became a cool kid in... Um, I think that was the majority of what happened for me. I became a cool kid. I started running around with the crowd. I probably shouldn't have been running around. <laughs> I would be honest. Shout out to the set, you heard, but I probably shouldn't have been running around with them. But in high school, I feel like that was the best years. I feel like middle school, they played me. I swear to God, they played me. Shorty broke my heart and everything. I ain't going to bring her name up, though, but it's okay, sir. I know you upset about that. <laughs> I know you upset about that. Okay. She hates it now. Probably. I bet she do. <laughs> hey, if you see me, don't like this. <laughs> do you think somebody from your childhood is upset that they let you go? Oh, you fine, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Yes, enjoy. Thank All right. you. We got our next thing on the list. We got some uh, partners. We got their chicken we combo. Hungry. Yeah, right. We ain't eat before we got here. Oh, we no. got their chicken combo. Oh, partners, I got to change my battery out. We about to die. <laughs> All right, we back from my battery dying. Pardon our quickly interruption. Now we're going to get right back to them questions. Do you think somebody from your past is mad that you let them go or they let you go? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of them out there right now that uh, try to come back, you know, on the deals. They always come back, though. Last Every time minute. they see you, you with somebody. You know I loved you for the last 10, 15 years. Girl, no, you ain't, ain't love me. No, and they didn't. You know you ain't never loved me like this. But they do come back. They do. People don't know when it says that people you know on Facebook, they're stalking your page. Hey, hit me in the email. I know how you can see your people that ain't on your page watching your page. I got the, uh, what right? is it? I got the hack. You heard? <laughs> do you do you think you 
find satisfaction or do you find like a giggle out of people coming back after so many years like oh i wish i would have never left like yeah because that means that you was a good person and you was thinking that you wasn't the entire time right yeah because so when of, they come back it's like <clears throat> Yeah, gotcha now. Right, I wasn't I wasn't as bad as you made me seem. Yeah, or whatever. They yeah. always make you seem bad yeah. afterwards. Everything, but anyway, let's get to trying <laughs> this right quick. It's some chicken nuggets. They smell good. Let's see you can see. Yeah. They smell ooh. good. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Hit me. And they got some curly Make fries. You got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some ranch and some cane sauce. It's an imitation though, so cane. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I done got dirty. Ooh, it tastes like the uh, Mazios. <laughs> Clean your hands. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, we haven't even got drunk yet. <laughs> well, we even got a little bit I'm drunk early, bro. I'm going to try the cane sauce since they got a little bit left. Good. I'm gonna try one of these chickens, y'all. I'm gonna try the ranch since I got a little squeeze left. Mmm. I like not, not skin. I mean, not breaded. Yeah. It's good, though. It's just your, your skin. Y'all. Yeah. It's good, y'all. Y'all chicken a 10. I'm gonna get out. Like 10. Well, we hungry. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope y'all chicken a 10. <laughs> Let me get to the next wish. One question, how did it three? Definitely, it did. <laughs> if there's anything, what makes you anxious or nervous in a social gathering? Probably not knowing everybody that's there. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know everybody, you don't know, you know, how they move. Who to act. talk to when? Yeah. I yeah. think for me, in a social gathering, the hardest thing for me is just being in a crowd of people. I get anxious and then like, even if I know some of them, I still get anxious. Like, I don't like to be in the mall when they packed. I like to go places when it's quiet. Really? I do. Man. Probably the weirdest thing about be trying to be like a rapper or something too, right? I, yeah. I be wanting to be in public places. You can't. You, you, you don't have to be out in a public place when you rap. I am in a public place, but I do get anxious in big crowds. Now, if it's entirely my family, I probably don't get anxious. I'm keeping yeah. it like, I say family, you know. Yeah, I don't get anxious when it's like. A, that you don't know. Yeah. Because you don't know how they react or how they act out of the setting that we're in. I was just chicken yeah. But yeah. I ain't real. But definitely, that's how I be. Mm -hmm. What would be your favorite game to play? Game. Like board game. Oh. Board game. Okay, no. Game? Let's let's go let's go back. What would be your favorite arcade game to play? Pinball, because you know, we still got a challenge for the pinball. You ain't cut like that, though. And, uh, you ain't cut Y'all will see us on now, episode. Now, whoop on pinball, you gonna see. She ain't got nothing on me. She she made because she won a game in Slidell, Louisiana, what? Four years ago? And I one beat him. One game. And I beat him. Oh, no, no, no. Hold up. I said that wrong. She mad about a game that happened in Portland. Down at um, what's the name of the place? Oaks Park. Yeah, Oaks I'm Park. Tripping. She beat me at a Oaks Park by what? By six hundred points. Then I whipped her in Slide L, Louisiana. Because the machine was uh, old is dirty. No, it had some little round no. things that was hard. She that mad. wasn't even a pinball machine. She mad that she got It was an old one that they first had she made. She a pinball whooped. machine that they made in nineteen oh nine. That's what he wanted. It don't matter if it was nineteen. So when we get to Tulsa she got out whooped. here. She and, got and we go. I'm going to show them. She got whooped, I swear to the God. Best pinball place. They just uh, reopened. And I'm going to whoop her. I don't care what she's talking about. <laughs> All right, so what's your favorite board game? Monopoly. Really? And I'm, sorry. All right. I'm going to have to say Uno. And I like Uno. Uh, yeah. You ever whipped a draw for on your family member and look them dead in the eyes? <laughs> Have you ever done that? If you haven't, you ain't played a real game of Uno yet. And then we play triples and doubles, so I can double down. Don't let me have a draw four and my teammate got a draw four. 
Oh my bad, the person sitting next to me got a drop off. <laughs> Cause we be cheating supposedly. Yeah, and, I do. And Jay, have you watching this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and him can't play, uh, we can't play Uno cause we be getting into the fights a lot. Y'all got to fight over Uno? Yeah, we was in JP and got in a fight over Uno. The chicks was like, yo, y'all need to chill. Uh-uh, I said, this my brother, I'm finna beat him up here. You already know it go down with us. So we not allowed to play Uno unless we on teams. <laughs> but we not on teams. I'm gonna cross him cause he ready to cross me. I don't understand that. See, listen, there's a thing about my family. We competitive. Off Very back, much. we competitive. It ain't no friendship once that game hit the table. Are we playing anywhere? Uh-uh. Have you seen that paintball episode when I first started YouTube? I shot my brother after he ain't had no uh after he ain't had no paint. Shot him. I don't care. The game ain't over till I say it's over. I'ma just say that. He always wants to be the lead. Oh, I always want to be the best. I get anxious if I'm not the best. I've always wanted to be so calculated and right on the money with it. That's just me. We got some donuts. Uh, what are they called? Donutlings? Pause. Donuts? No. Donuts. Let's say donuts. I messed it up. My bad. <laughs> Donuts, okay? Shut up. <laughs> Donuts, okay? Oh, oh I'm gonna oh, drop two of them. They looking really good, but by the way, this got better through the night. I'm yeah, it was a little strong, but uh, it was good. It got better through the night. All right, I'm gonna take this one. Oh, you can go for the side. Mmm. Okay. That's kind of like biscuit. Mm-hmm. I don't like a cinnamon roll. Well, a little more crunch to it, okay? I like these. Sort of like Taco Bell ones, but better. I ain't never ate the Taco Bell ones. Yeah. Oh, man. That's pretty good. Does love matter more than loyalty? It's a little chilly out here. Come on. I think. You have loyalty for someone, the love should automatically come. I don't though. Why you think love is better than loyalty? No, I think loyalty is better than love because. But I'm saying loyalty should be first. No, I, I feel like of course they come in one and the same at some point. But what I feel is that love fades. So 10, 10 15 years, we not gonna have some. Who we like love and like our story would be crazy, but how you don't know? I just feel like it fades. If you got twin flames, it never fades. But still, I feel like it fades. I'd rather you be more loyal to me than loving me, because if you love me, you willing to hurt me, and you think I'm like okay, we cool, cause oh I forgive you cause you love me, and you more loyal to me, so to speak. You ain't gonna think about crossing me at no point, and that'll last longer than love will, cause love can't fade. Don't let them people lie to you. And I'm not saying... I'm thinking if you're twin flames, you'll have loyalty and it will turn into love. Do you know twin flames can also burn you, though? Yeah. So, once again, <laughs> I'd rather loyalty over love. Okay, well, I said loyalty <laughs> first. <laughs> but does, so both but does love... Same does mentality love, of loyalty. But does love matter more than... Ooh, God, she didn't mess up today. I swear to God. So the question is, does love matter more than loyalty? I say loyalty first. But does it matter? Does love matter more than loyalty? Yes or no? It's the question. Yes, no. <laughs> I'm going to say no also. All right. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to do one more before we get out of here. What makes your hometown special to you? My hometown... I would say Louisiana, uh, the beach, the Civic Center, they don't have that here, so I love going to the beach when I get there in the Civic Center, and the food. I'm going to have to say what makes it special is that you could go get you a soda, some boudin, take your little shawty down to the Civic Center, watch the sunrise. Cause you can get sunset. But I did do the sunset one time, but I went and got gems when I did the sunset. When I did the sunset, I went and got gems. But you can get your boot in, something to drink, and like go to the Civic Center early morning, have people jogging, and like you get to enjoy that atmosphere with somebody. You would think that wasn't important, 
But then that little subtle moment can be so great. I feel like that's what makes my hometown special. The atmosphere, the food, anything. Hospitality. Hospitality. But and how, the food is warm. But how you can make, how you can make the simplest thing into something so great. Like something so special, even though it's a small setting. Like that's an early morning thing. So that's what makes it special to me. And the food in early in the morning with some chips. Man, that's a meal right there. That was my everyday meal for three months. Thank you. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. We're going to see y'all um, probably next week. No telling what's going to happen next week <laughs> and what we do it next week. I want to say thank you to Melissa for the idea. Thank Melissa, you. She told us about the igloo, so we, we running one. It was a little cold, but we got a heater in here. Yeah, There's heaters. Hey, appreciate the heater, though. I swear to God, because I already knew it was cold <laughs> when I was coming up here, man. We're going to holler, though. Click subscribe. And make sure you share this video. Thank you. Don't forget to like.